improved improved protein. How many minutes do I have left? Two minutes? About two minutes, okay. I'm just going to show you um, uh, just a little bit of data on annual ryegrass. And annual ryegrass is one of those cool season annuals, probably my favorite cool season annual for grazing. Don't use it in a, if you're going to go in a cropping sequence and plant a small grain for, for grain harvest. That it can be a terrible weed in small grains. But in a grazing situation, it can be outstanding. One of the advantages of annual ryegrass is that it, it will regrow after each uh, harvest or grazing event in the spring until temperature limits regrowth, and that usually happens in June. Um, and it's a wall of highly digestible forage in the spring, just extremely high in digestibility and energy and crude protein, and elm performance tends to be really high on this um, on this forage. We had a dairy outside of Blackstone that would use this uh, as a silage, and they would chop it in the spring as a one-cut silage system and come in with corn after it. And their crude protein in their silage was routinely 16% crude protein in the spring. So highly digestible, even in conserved forage. Very, um, very consistent production over the years. It, it bounces around a little bit, but over the years, you know, you're looking at dry matter production in that 7,500 to 8,000 pound range, depending on the annual ryegrass variety. Marshall's probably the longest and one of the oldest varieties available. It's good cold tolerance and, and still good animal performance. 